Hi guys! Dawn on the Filofaxi Facebook group asked today that somebody make a video or a blog post on how to set up a Filofax for beginners. So um, you may have just bought your first Filofax or you may have just been given one as a present and you have no idea how you would set it up. You don't even know how to start. So I'm just going to give you a bit of advice today on how I think a good um, tips on how to set up your brand new Filofax and I'm doing it with my A5 Aqua Molding today because it's the only Filofax that I've still got the original inserts for so the first thing that you should um, know when you've actually chosen and bought your Filofax is that there are certain variations between the standard inserts that you will get with your Filofax so some have different inserts than others and they do have a list of which inserts you will get when you buy it on the Filofax website but some diaries are different, some you know come with only white paper, some come with coloured note paper, some come with um, a cotton cream insert, some come with just the plain white inserts so it will differ but this is I'm just going to briefly go through the inserts that you get with this Filofax which is the A5 Molden and they should be pretty standard over all the A5 Moldens and then you might get different inserts between personals so for example if you buy a cheaper personal you might not get um, many inserts like I've seen cheaper personals where they've only got a couple of pages of each colour of note paper whereas I've seen in more expensive personals you get the full set of cotton cream inserts which are more expensive so you will get different inserts and you might get a different diary insert depending on which one you've bought like this is the week in columns which you'll get um, with certain A5s and in other certain A5s you'll get the week in horizontally and certain personals you might get the w white week on two pages with um, smaller weekends or with others you might get the cotton cream that have equal weekends or in others you might get the white version of the cotton cream and you might get um, different dividers I've seen some pastel coloured dividers on certain um, filofaxes so you do get different inserts but it's kind of standard you'll tend to get a diary, note paper, a ruler, information paper, to-dos, addresses, dividers, that kind of thing. But even on some of them you might not get a diary, like in the new Doodle you won't get a diary because Filofax have designed it actually as a notebook more than a diary. And um, if you buy it online, especially if it's second hand, you may not get a diary because it may be out of date it may be somebody's diary that they got at Christmas and therefore it would be out of date it might have been a 2012 one or something so you might get different inserts and you've got to research what inserts you get because while you're waiting for it to come if you've bought on it online or um, while you're first setting it up when you do get it whether you've bought it on the from an actual shop or online you need to know what inserts are in it because you've got to start thinking about how you'll set it up so you may need to add new inserts so um, I'm going to give you my advice on how to customise a Firefax for you when you first get it so sorry I was just taking a sip of my drink so this is what you see when you first open up the A5 Moldem you get this piece of fabric which just protects the rings from indenting the leather. You get this card which is just um, an explanation of the um, variations in leather. And you get this um, fly leaf which is just a clear piece of plastic and a sticker on it. And you get this front page which just says what kind of diary it is. The first thing that I do with this is rip off this piece of fabric you don't need it I've seen some people keep it but personally I wouldn't keep it there I don't think it really protects the leather in the long run and I don't think it looks very nice then I take this card off you can keep it and keep it in the um, pocket in the front like one of these pockets or you can keep it on the rings but personally I'd take it off I'd use this fly leaf either as kind of like a divider or 
as a dashboard which means that you can stick post-it notes on it for reminders to do that kind of thing but I take this label off so that's just what I do with the front and I'd also get rid of this piece of paper it's pretty useless it just tells you what type of diary you've bought and then you get this year grid of the dates in the month now that's pretty useful and personally I'd keep that then you get all these information sheets and I'm not going to go through them but some of them are useful and some of them aren't this is a personal information page which you just can fill in if you want or you don't have to if you don't want to because some of these things are really personal information like um, your passport number, your national insurance number if this gets into the wrong hands do you really want somebody to have your name address phone number um, you know all your private numbers blood group that kind of thing do you really want somebody to have that kind of information it's up to you but you've got to decide whether you want to fill that in or not and then you've got all these um, you've got them in the personal information page in different languages and then you've got all these pages with information on some of them are quite random, like the world and time, measures of time and stuff. Like you don't already know that a day is divided into 24 hours. Personally, I don't keep these in my Filofax and I've never used them. The beauty of a Filofax is that you can open the rings and take out any of the sheets of paper that you don't want. Quite a few diaries do come with these um, insert, you know, these, these on their front pages but you can't really take them out of a file of facts uh, I mean of a, a standard bound diary because you don't really want to rip it out whereas you can take it out of, out of a file of facts and I think that's really good because you it just contributes to how you customize your file of facts then you've got this page and this is really useful on the back of it upside down you have got this piece of paper which when you first buy your filofax it's kind of an insurance policy for you to hopefully get your filofax back if you ever lose it so when you first buy your filofax go to the filofax website local to your country whether it's the uk so it'd be .co.uk the us.com or the france.fr um, and register your filofax so you just complete quick form and then you get a unique number which you fill in here and if anybody finds your filofax if you've lost it then they can call one of these numbers and filofax will either arrange for it to be picked up by a courier or um, they'll send out a free post envelope so you can hopefully get your filofax back and that's really good that is one of the first things that I do if I got a brand new filofax and then we get onto the diary insert now you don't get a choice of what diary you get when you buy your new file of acts. this is a week on two pages in columns it's got the times down there it's multi-language so you've got loads of other languages up here which may be a bit annoying if you you know if you only speak English you don't want all of these and you could use that space for notes so it, it can be kind of annoying the way they set up a um, calendar for you, a diary insert. You may not want the week in columns, you may have preferred the week horizontally, you may want a day per page, you may not want that much detail and just want a month on two pages. You don't get a choice when you first buy your Filofax which insert the binder comes with. However, on the Filofax website or on other websites like filofaxi.com you can either buy or print out your own diary insert so on the filofax website they offer all sorts of different types whether it's a year to view month to view um, different types of week on two pages a day per page day on two pages the um, the time management inserts you can buy a new diary insert and then there's more people who make them to sell or that make them free online and that's what Filofaxi do 
Um, Ray and Steve have spent a lot of time making loads of different diary inserts and they're absolutely fantastic and you can print them out at home whether you print out the whole year or you just print out maybe a week at a time so that you can, you can test it out and see if it works for you and they're customizable and it's absolutely brilliant so that is a really big piece of advice I'd give you don't settle for what comes in your file effects you can customize it and that is the beauty of having the ring mechanism you can take out all of this diary insert if you don't want it and replace it with what you do want don't settle for what you get with the file effects you may regret having to take all this out and not use it but you can use this for scrap paper so you know it's the possibilities are endless with this kind of thing you can you know you can use a different diary insert every month just to test it out and see how you like it to be set up you can um you know you can do anything you can add multiple inserts you can have a year to view a month to view a week to view and then maybe even day per page you can do it in any combination you like so when we go past the calendar insert we get to the ruler now this is really handy because you can use it to flip to the current week so say it's the week of the 23rd of june 2014 when you've got when you first open up your diary your file effects you can just flip to it with the ruler it's really handy but this ruler is pretty boring and they sell other um, types of ruler in a five they sell a translucent one in personal I know they they do brown translucent and transparent and so you can buy different types of ruler that's really handy but you can also make your own. You can make it out of card or plastic or anything you want really. And it's really easy to do. All you have to do is punch it and then slip between the holes here. Really handy. So that's another thing you can do to customise it. And then you get some dividers. Now with this one you get the um, A to Z dividers first. And these are supposed to be designed for address. Um, pages so you do get address pages with your file effects and you can write your addresses on it and use it as an address page uh, address book but you don't have to do that I mean you don't have to put your whole address book in there you could maybe just do your business contacts or your friends you don't have to put everyone in there but you don't even have to use it for that you can for example use it for subject dividing so like a filing cabinet say you've got something that relates to um, holiday if you're planning your holiday you can put it under H if you're planning Christmas you can put it under C you can do whatever you want with it you don't even have to use these dividers for um, the alphabet you can do what I've just done which is change because there's 13 you can change it to monthly dividers so you have January, February, March, April da, 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 done and then the 13th one you can have for next year and that's what I've just done and all you have to do is then put a label over it and just label them Jan, Feb, Ma, that kind of thing. And then the next dividers you get. Now in the A5 they're either blank or they've got numbers on and it actually says down the bottom here label the tabs with a permanent marker and I wouldn't do that if I've just bought my brand new file effects because chances are you don't know how you definitely 100% want this set up you will probably change it over the coming weeks or months you may put diary up here first and then go oh I wish I'd have put diary third or you may put oh, I'm gonna write um, to do's and wish you'd have changed that to maybe projects instead so it really I wouldn't put it with permanent marker straight away I would for example put a post-it note over there and that means that if you change it you can take the post-it note off put a clean post-it note on and write something different or you can use a label maker and stick it on or just some you know labels that you get from the stationery shop and stick it on so they're completely customizable because they're blank even with the numbered ones you can cover them or um, or just use the numbers for a code you know number one is diary number two is projects number three is notes that kind of thing but with the personal inserts they're really they've already the 
they tend to have labels on them already and I really don't like this because it tells you what you should have behind that divider and for people who have first got their filofaxes they might try to use these sections and it really won't work for them and they'll think the filofax isn't working for me what's wrong well it's because you're trying to use it the way that filofax have set it up you may not need a financial section you may not need an address section because the majority of people put their addresses on their phones now anyway so take that out and it looks a bit rubbish because you've only got five dividers in there I would consider not using the sections that they've put on there I would either relabel them using the post-it note or the label um, technique or I would make my own dividers out of card and put my own labels on really I would not use these if you've just got your first file of eggs because these are really you know they're, they're kind of bossy they're telling you what to put behind that section and you may want a work section you may want a university section you may want a section for each of your family members or each of your pets you may want the diary at the back you may want um, you know to change the word financial to money you know these are just not I think they, they don't follow the kind of what Filofax is designed for which is customizability. so I just throw them away and relabel them and then you get some pieces of paper which these are addresses you get coloured paper which is really nice and then you get to do's with these they are handy and you can use them but when you come to buy some again like the to do's you'd get maybe 25 or 30 in a pack for about three pounds and I think that's expensive when it's about 10p per sheet all you have to do especially with the A5 is make your own inserts whether you print them out online or make them out of other paper that is the beauty of the file effects is that you can add your own pages and that is definitely something that I would do if I just got my first file effects. Once I've used up these inserts, make my own pages. It's something I do anyway. With the A5 size, it's really easy, easy because A5 is half of A4. So if you are in the UK or Europe, we use the A paper size range. In America and other places like that, you do tend to use strange, <laughs> what seems strange to me, paper size like letter. Um, which it's a bit harder to um, make your own um, A5 inserts because the um, the letter size paper is different. But for A5, uh, A5 inserts just cut an A4 piece of paper in half. But then for personal inserts, you can put uh, you can get three personal sheets from a piece of A4 A5 uh, A4 paper. Sorry, for pocket you can get four and I think for mini you can either get five or six so it's really good it is quite easy to make your own pages what you have to do is cut them to size and punch them and for that you can use a Filofax punch and you don't have to use Filofax brand you can just use a, a single hole punch or you can use just one hole of your double hole punch or you can actually buy another hole punch like the um, Repesco or the KW Trio and I'm not going to talk about accessories you can use to make your own inserts in this video because it's already too long but um, you can very easily make your own inserts and the beauty of it is you can on the computer you can you know change them how you want so you can have maybe smaller lines so you can fit more on a page or you can take out all of the um, the multi languages if you if you're good at using Microsoft Word or another word processing processing program or if you download them from filofaxi.com you can edit them however you like because Steve has made loads of files on the filofaxi um, website and that's what they're under they're on the um, pages along the top there under files you can print your own to do's you can print your own address pages you can print your own I mean there's there's so many types of inserts on there 
don't just settle for what's on here you may not like them you may love them and you may wish that you could get some more that were cheaper in which case there are similar ones to this online but you may wish you could change them so customize i think th the whole moral to this story is customize the same with this note paper it is really expensive when you want to buy it again try to cut your own you can buy colored paper and maybe print some lines on that that's what i'm about to do with mine um you can just get um a4 paper and cut it down or buy the packs of a5 note paper from stationery shops and cut it down the address pages you may not use them as address pages you may just use them as lined paper or scrap paper or you may want address pages where it's got the phone you know envelope kind of thing and each one has four lines you can completely customize them either on the computer or drawing it on yourself with a ruler your own inserts and i think that is the beauty of a file effects you can really customize it your own way and then you've got some other inserts like the credit card pocket and the notepad at the back so that's my video moral of the story is customize 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 the beauty of the ring mechanism means that you can take out anything you don't want add more that you do want you know do whatever you want if you've just bought your first file effects do not settle for what comes in your file effects there are so many options out there whether it's in shops you know different companies making compatible inserts um, people online who have made some either to buy or to download and to either just print out or to customize yourself make your own inserts hack a notebook you know chop a notebook up and punch it and put it in relabel the dividers customize it to how you want go online to the filofaxi um, website to the filofaxi facebook group to Flickr, to youtube there are so many resources out there to show you how to customize your filofax just have fun with it customize it and use it so this is my rather long video on how to set up a filofax for beginners i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching bye